So now we're going to take a long look at the aldol reaction, sometimes just called the aldol condensation reaction. Uh, and in this case, it can be both base catalyzed and acid catalyzed. And uh, just like we said with alpha halogenation, when it's base catalyzed, it is your enolate ion that's going to be the nucleophile, whereas when it's acid catalyzed, it'll be the enol that'll be the nucleophile. Uh, and in this case, we'll kind of take a look at what's going on with both, but this is going to be a little bit tough to keep track of, and that's why I've kind of drawn uh, two different ketones here, one red, one blue. This red one here is going to be the electrophile, and from his perspective, he's like, oh, I'm doing a nucleophilic addition reaction, just like we studied with ketones and aldehydes in the past. But the blue one here, this is an enolate here. Notice the alpha carbon has been deprotonated, and he's like, oh, I'm a nucleophile, first of all. So, and from his perspective, he's doing an alpha substitution reaction. And so we're doing both alpha substitution and nucleophilic addition at the same time, and it can get a little bit confusing. Uh, but in this case, we're going to be doing nucleophilic attack right here. So kicking the electrons up to the O, and again, if I can show this in red and show this in blue so you can see where they're derived from, it's a little easier to keep track of. But the bond I've drawn in black, that's the new bond, and then we just simply protonate the O, and we get here what's called the aldol addition product. Cool. That's the base catalyzed mechanism. In the acid catalyzed mechanism, we're going to have an enol being the nucleophile. So, and in this case, enols are not as good of a nucleophile as an enolate, and so they wouldn't react with a ketone. You actually have to protonate your ketone first. So when they react, they're actually reacting with a protonated ketone or aldehyde. So getting us here, and again in black, there's our new bond. Uh, and then from there, you just need to deprotonate this H, and that would get you to your aldol addition product. Uh, we'll find out in a second here that uh, oftentimes we don't stop at the aldol addition product. We take it a step further uh, and have these further react to the aldol condensation product. Uh, and that's, pretty, uh, that's the most likely result that you're probably being asked to predict. Uh, so let's take a look and see how that works. So here again, we can see the aldol addition product. This is actually where the aldol gets its name. Uh, instead of starting with a ketone, had we started with an aldehyde, then this molecule, instead of being a beta hydroxy ketone, would have been a beta hydroxy aldehyde. And so it would have been an alcohol and an aldehyde, and that's where aldol gets its name. Um, but technically, this one's from a ketone. So uh, this is also a self aldol. So it turns out the nucleophile and electrophile are coming from the same ketone. Uh, we will find out there are such things as mixed and cross aldols in a little bit. Uh, but we'll find out getting a good yield of this aldol addition reaction is not uh, likely. Uh, to get a good yield, you've usually got to take this out and get go all the way to what's called the aldol condensation product. Uh, and this takes place, uh, if you take your aldol addition product and under acidic or basic conditions, you heat it up. Well, generally we're carrying the reaction out under acidic and basic conditions. So uh, oftentimes you can just kind of combine this into one and just put acid or base plus heat. And they're expecting you to go all the way to this aldol condensation product. And the idea is that you're gonna lose this OH and then from the alpha carbon here, you're gonna lose an H and f do an elimination reaction forming your alkene right here. And the key is this thing is conjugated. Uh, and that makes this last step highly exothermic and therefore highly favorable as well. Uh, and so this last step has a very favorable delta G and you can get a good yield of it. Uh, so if you stop again at the aldol addition product, getting a good yield is going to be problematic. But going all the way to the aldol condensation product, getting a good yield uh, is definitely possible. Uh, let's take a look at the mechanisms here.